Exercise 1. In this exercise, we'll get warmed up by concatenating first and last names. In the first column, we'll use the concatenate function, equals concatenate, the last name, cell C14, comma, the next argument is the comma space we need between the last and first names. Since this argument is a text string, we need to enclose it in quotes, comma, the final argument is the first name, cell B14. Push the formula down, and got it. In the second column, we'll use the concatenation operator, the ampersand. The formula is equal to the last name, cell C14. Next, we join with the concatenation operator. Then comes the comma space, and again, enclosed in quotes. Next, we join the first name in cell B14. Fill the formula down, and we are good to go. Exercise 2. In this exercise, we'll concatenate numbers. We need to join the unit, department, and account numbers, separated by a dash. Equals concatenate the unit. The next argument is the dash, enclosed in quotes. Next is the department then another dash, finally the account. Fill the formula down. Hey, looks pretty good. Exercise 3. In this exercise, we'll concatenate a date value. We want to concatenate the header text and the report date. The report date input cell is named date underscore report. The header text input cell is named header underscore report. Now, we'll write the report label formula in two steps. First, let's join the header text and the date equals concatenate the header text, header underscore report, comma, then we need a space enclosed in quotes, comma, the report date, date underscore report, close the function and hit enter. We're almost there. The date is appearing as a date serial, not as a formatted date. This is because the concatenate function, like other functions, operate on the stored value, not the displayed value. We'll use the text function to convert the date serial to a formatted date. Edit the formula. Let's wrap the text function around the date argument. Text, and the format will be mmmmdd, yyyy. Close the paren, hit enter. Ah, much better. Exercise 4. In this exercise, we'll concatenate some money. The cash input cell is named cash underscore BAL. The report formula is concatenate the text string the cash balance is space enclosed in quotes. The next argument is the cash balance. Since the concatenate function operates on the stored value and not the displayed value, we'll use the text function to format the value. Text, the cash balance, the format is dollar sign number comma number number number, enclosed in quotes. Close the text function, close the concatenate function, and hit enter. Hey, perfect! This video is a production of Click Consulting.